What's up everybody, this is Scratch and I got a quick video here for you. We are going to take a look at the new weapons that you can find in Worms WMD and I'm going to show you how the crafting works really quick and then show you some of my favorite crafted items as well as some of the uh, major destruction like you're seeing going on behind me. So let's check it out. Okay, now before we get started, uh, we're here in uh, Creme de la Kremlin, which is one of the single player missions and it allows us to kind of uh, construct anything we want. Um, and it's where it kind of teaches you about crafting. So what I'm going to do is uh, just kind of show you how it works, but just a couple things to get out of the way first. So when you're crafting in here, uh, you have to collect, um, you collect things and resources that come down in crates, or sometimes you can dismantle weapons to get resources um, that you have. And then when you go to craft something, there's there's a there's a crafting menu, and then each thing that you want to build uh, costs a certain amount of resources, and it takes one turn to actually complete that. Now it doesn't take up your turn; like you don't have to make a choice between, you know, attacking or crafting. Like you can do both. Like you can craft quick and then make your attack, and then when it switches over to the enemy's turn, you can press B and bring up the menu again. And you can craft again during the enemy's turn. And then when it gets back to your turn, you can have a total of two um, items crafted. So that's what we're going to do here real quick. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of take a second to explain that. Um, and, if, and if you guys have any more questions, obviously, you know, I always say this. Leave a comment down below. But let's take a look here and see what we got. Uh, so in this particular uh, level here, we're going to just walk forward. And we're going to get a whole bunch of things. And it's going to tell me... Uh, to open craft, uh, just select the crafting tab uh, by pressing the RB button, and I go over here to crafting, and as you can see, I have all of these things available. As I highlight in the crafting tab uh, what I want, uh, you can see that it, it shows the different versions, like I have homing clustal, uh, the tri bunker buster, so let's just do that. Let's do the mega buster, so I'm going to click on that, I'm going to click mega buster, and it's going to start crafting right now. Shout out to Steineken. Uh, it's going to start crafting right now, and now I can just take my turn. If I go to crafting, you can see it's uh, not available there. Uh, so I'm going to select the shotgun and then shoot this guy in the face. Right there, just like that. Okay, so that's going to go through my turn. Uh, so anyway, so there goes my turn, and then... Uh, now it's going to play through the thing. Now it's the enemy's turn. So I'm going to quickly press B and I'm going to go over to crafting again. And this time I'm going to do the uh, angry concrete donkey. So I have that uh, which is crafting right now. And it's going to complete as soon as it becomes my turn again. So now it's my turn and you can see the donkey is available here at the bottom. Uh, so let's, let's do the donkey real quick because that's kind of cool. Uh, so we're just going to do the donkey like right here. So we're going to get both of them there. So this is the concrete donkey variation. So it gives you a little bit of fire, which is kind of cool. And, uh, you know, there it goes. I was a little disappointed that it doesn't sizzle when it goes down in the water, but it's still pretty cool either way. Okay, so now it's going to be the enemy's turn. So I can craft one more item if I want to. So let's do like say... Uh, the oh my god lol strike and you can see that that's crafting now and then it'll be my turn with the bunker buster so that's pretty much it for crafting so I'm just gonna kind of leave it there and then I'm just gonna finish out the video with showing off a whole bunch of these things but I'm not gonna talk over it or waste your time we'll just skip right to them but as long as I'm here let's do this oh my god lol strike which is pretty funny so it brings down this like um, this satellite and then I can use the RB button to switch the angle and if I want to finish off these two worms right here this thing actually disintegrates that whole part of the map and there it goes and you can see the, the worm is like all red or whatever which he's I think he's gonna I think he should die from that. Maybe he doesn't die. Yeah. And so it does 99, 99 damage, and he only had 30. So, 
Uh, pretty cool. So that whole half of the map is not even usable right now. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm just going to jump through and I'll, I'll go through some other stuff and I'll show you some of the new weapons. Um, there'll be a list of all of the weapons down in the description uh, so you can see them. If you guys want to see any of the other ones that I don't show in this video, um, I will have them shown um, on a live stream that I'm going to probably do on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, so you can check it out there. It'll be on beam.pro forward slash my gamer tag, which is SCRTCH. Uh, there's also a link to that down in the description as well. So thanks for watching and let's just cut to the chase. Okay, so before I leave here, I might as well use that bunker buster, the mega buster that I built, and check that out. Okay, so this one is just uh, the regular Oh My God Strike, not the Oh My God LOL version. So it's just basically does the same thing, just a little bit smaller. And you can see it burns a whole bunch of those, uh, burns a whole bunch of those uh, worms, gives them a little bit of damage, and then takes care of anything that's in the way. Okay, so here we have one of the mounted weapons. You just uh, press Y to get in. It's a flamethrower, and I can just shoot flames all over the place. I can even flame myself because I'm screwing around and not paying attention. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the mounted weapons, there's sniper rifles, mortars, that sort of stuff. Uh, that's an example of what... The helicopter is one of the... It works kind of like the jetpack, and then it has the ability to shoot out of the bottom of it. You just press the bottom or press the button and then you can, it's kind of hard to aim, but it's pretty devastating um, if you hover right over top of somebody. But that's the helicopter, one of the vehicles that they... So one of the other vehicles that they've added to the game uh, is a tank, so I can press Y to enter the tank and it gives me a little bit more mobility. The tank can actually jump, which is kind of cool. And then whenever you fire it, it just automatically shoots and then you have to move the reticle around to get it. Um, wherever you want I can shoot in the same spot and you get a you get about like six shots four or five six shots whatever it is um, pretty devastating does about as much as a, a rocket launch another one of the vehicles is the mech so we can get in the mech and it gives us some ability to kind of jump and then uh, we can jump over here and we can also hover so we can go over long distances um, and that's pretty much what that does there. Um, and then we can run down here. And I can smash uh, worms just like this. So that wasn't good for his health. So out of 200, that only hit him for 64. So as you can see, the... The the weapons in the ve or the vehicles aren't much different than a weapon. Just kind of provide you... Okay, this one is this one is a variation of the Oh My God Strike. So this is one's called Joanna Dark. I have no idea what it does, but we're gonna find out together right now. Um, and I'm not even sure who we should do it to. Uh, so let's let's angle it this way. So there's rapid fire and magazine discharge. I think we should do rapid fire this way. What do you think? Let's try it. Lights out. There she is. Holy cow. That was Joanna Dark. So she works kind of like Boggy, I guess, from the other one. Um, I'll craft another one and we'll, we'll... One of the new weapons is this thing called a dodgy phone battery and it actually shoots an electrical charge that um, will connect worms together and it also will uh, disable weapons so we'll see if I can make a good throw on this um, see if it reaches anything see how it chains through all of them so that's kind of cool um, that's good for groups of uh, groups of worms and also to get rid of the mounted weapons that they may or may not okay so we've got our other Joanna dark here um, so I am just going to take it to the magazine discharge. I think we did uh, rapid fire last time. And then, uh, we're going to go with magazine discharge in this general direction and see what she does. Here she comes. So it looks like she just kind of shot a little bit faster. Kind of the same effect, though. You can see that takes out quite a bit of, quite a bit of the area. And of course, I probably killed that worm. 
uh, hit them for 100, so that's pretty high. So one of the other ones with a couple of variations is sheep on a rope. So I can actually send this sheep out, and then I can I can uh, put them on here, and I can swing them around on the rope wherever I want to, and just kind of maneuver it around, just like you would with a worm, and then eventually, eventually it it pops. So that's kind of cool. There's a super sheep and there's actually a goat on the rope, which is a throwback to goat simulator. Okay, I tried this once before and I totally screwed it up, but this is actually a super banana bomb, uh, which allows me to throw the banana bomb, but I press the button and I decide when the main banana uh, blows up and I decide when all of the clusters of it also blow up. Uh, so let's let's see if I can not screw this up. So I actually pressed those exactly when I wanted them. You press it once to blow up the main one, press it again to blow up all the... Okay, we'll take a look here. This one is the sticky grenade. This is one of the grenade variations that you can make, and it'll actually stick to whatever you throw it to. So that's pretty cool. It works just like a regular grenade. It just doesn't bounce. It sticks to whatever it... Okay, and we'll finish out with one of the carpet bombing... Um, Variations. This one is known as the Liberty Strike. I've never seen this before either, so we're going to witness it for the first time. Um, we'll just blow up these worms here and see what happens to them. That's pretty crazy, so it's kind of like fireworks. I think there was actually three times that actually went through. So that's a pretty crazy carpet bomb. Um, I'll have more on my beam, uh, which is linked down in the in the description below. Um, there are plenty more weapons. I think there's something like about 90 some weapons. I think there's a couple of different um, there's a couple of different vehicles that I didn't show. And then, of course, with the crafting, you've got, you know, there's there's something for each one. You've got gas grenades, uh, bazooka fire, sheep launchers, um, a Ming vase, which I'm not sure what that does, a cluster, homing cluster missile, uh, a sheep that farts, and uh, the granny that jumps, and you can send out minions. Uh, there's all kinds of different things. There's, there's a wormageddon. Uh, which is even worse than Armageddon. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here So I'll go over those in the twitch stream or, or the beam stream uh, later this week You can catch description um, that below if you follow me on Twitter at aka underscore scratch I'll probably be tweeting out when that'll actually go live depends on when I get home tomorrow But I definitely plan on doing a live stream and showcasing some of these weapons with you guys So thanks for watching and I will catch you all in the next video